Hey YouTube, Dale Cooper back with you. Uh, just wanted to show quickly this um, spreadsheet I made recently. So I had a spreadsheet before tracking all my precious metals purchases, but it was just an ounce total. Um, so what I did was I split everything out. So each, uh, I won't say each coin has its own line because for junk silver I do it by dollar face value, but um, just about every coin has its own line. And I went back through all my receipts and wrote down what I paid, um, cost per ounce, the date, and the spot price on that date. So this column G tells you the cost in equivalent ounces when I bought it. Um, so that you know includes the premium and then just a straight up premium number and what the premium was in equivalent ounces at the time. Uh, premium normalized would be... Um, it's cost per ounce divided by the purchase spot price. So this is a way you can compare like a 10 ounce coin to a kilo coin um, to a dollar face value of silver, of junk silver. Um, and then uh, over here I can uh, put in the current spot price and it'll tell me, well total cost is fixed, it'll tell me my current value based on the current spot price here and then also uh, just a total of troy ounces so um, you can see my <laughs> silvers dropped by about half although that's not 100% um, accurate because the current value is just a melt value basically so like a 5 ounce high relief wedge tail eagle is in this cell worth about $75 but obviously I could get a lot more than that for it so um, you know high premium coins are going to throw this total cost off. Um, but uh, anyway, um, I was just wondering if anyone else does anything like this and if there's any other things I hadn't thought about, um, other information I could put in here. So I have a tab for gold and a tab for platinum, um, which I don't have much platinum. Uh, here's another thing I just did was I started a thing for a tab for coins I've sold. So this is interesting because um, I haven't sold much, I've only sold two coins, but um, one thing this helps with is showing you uh, what you actually get for something, which I don't usually calculate. So like the Zombux Walker, I paid twenty two forty six. I sold it on eBay for like $40 at the beginning of the year, and I thought that was pretty great. Well, um, if you factor in the fees and shipping, it's really only about $30. Um, and then the other thing I did over here was I put down the spot price when it sold and what it sold for in equivalent ounces. So then here I can subtract um, the sold and equivalent ounces from the cost and equivalent ounces to see what my net is. Um, and the use of that is uh, illustrated in the next line down, which is um, I bought one of those St. Gaudens uh, silver coins. Um, for 179, I'm a 70, um, and I recently sold it for after all the eBay fees and shipping and everything, um, 141.90. So that seems like a pretty substantial hit, almost 40 dollars less. But if you compare the spot price when I bought it, which was almost 20, to when I sold it, which is 15.71, um, I bought it for. 9.03 ounces at the time, sold it for 9.03, so basically it's a wash. So, um, you know, those types of things are useful, I think. Um, and if I want to sell something, that's another way this these other tabs are useful, is that, um, you know, I can compare what I could get for it today divided by the spot price to, you know, what I paid for it at the time compared to that spot price. Um, and another thing that's interesting to me is that uh, a lot of things, like looking at these premiums, there are a lot of coins that I thought I got a really good deal on, um, but actually it wasn't that great of a deal. Um, one thing that's kind of brilliant about eBay bucks from their standpoint is um, it sort of makes you feel like you're getting a good deal twice. So you'll buy something and factor in the eBay bucks in your head and it's like, I mean I just did it with my last video that 
lucky angel it's like oh this is less than spot with the ebay bucks and then when it's time to use them you feel like that's free money um, and it you know it feels like you're getting a deal again so uh, in this spreadsheet if I use eBay bucks to buy something I take it out um, but the things I buy like that lucky angel coin that accumulate eBay bucks I don't factor it so that really gives you an idea of uh, what you know you're you're paying a premium on one end or the other depending on what you subtract it out of but um, anyway so one thing I've tried to do with the last round of eBay bucks is using them you know don't treat it like it's free money treat it like it's your money and you know it's really tempting to be like oh this uh, Silver Eagle's $25 but with $10 in eBay bucks it's only 15 well you know sure but that $10 uh, you know you're you're paying for it on one end or the other so um, anyway just thought I'd share this with you and again if anybody's got um, ideas for anything I could add in here to make it more robust or more useful. Uh, let me know. Anyway, that's it for now. Talk to you later.